So if everybody in this room were to think about, you know, there, if there are people in here who have a personal automobile, how many years they keep that automobile? Average American keeps the car for 10 years, right? So if you think about just in our country, the wealth creation factor of how many years is it going to take me, you know, either to transition to I'm going to sell my house, I'm going to move in and live urbanly densely and I'm not going to commute, right? Or I'm going to turn in my automobile for a better technology. You know, because really those are the two choices when you talk about transportation. And I do see a willingness of the younger generation to consider those issues. Um, and also they think very differently about waste, right? So of the things I use and eat and buy, um, how much of it do I just throw away and how much do I, I seek to recycle? But, you know, in the end, the time loop of what it takes you know, it's not because I wouldn't like to see everybody, you know, if we were a wealthy enough company that President Obama, a country that President Obama could stand up tomorrow and say, okay, cash for clunkers. I'm going to pay back every American who will turn in their car in the next two years. That would be great. But the reality is it will take at least a decade to turn over the current car fleet. And the current car fleet runs on oil. And, you know, that's just the way it is. And if we don't like that, we need to take that action ourselves. And so there are, you know, going to be in the next five years vehicles that are going to come on the market that would allow people to not make, you know, this horrible sacrifice where they're having to worry about the range, where they can have a vehicle that runs on both fuels. And, you know, people need to look at those cars. People need to think about whether they can take the train or whether they could live closer to work. You know, this idea that we're all commuting for an hour. You know, somebody did some research. Um, a polling research at University of California, Dave, it's an unbelievable uh, thing that came out in this one poll. It found that some people like to commute for an hour because they said it was the hour they get to be alone by themselves. 